So the NBA draft has finally completed. You know, we got so excited for it happening in June, normally when the season was going on. Then the pandemic hit, but five months later, we finally got it on November 18th. And today we are doing our first post NBA draft rebuild with the 2020 rookies. We're doing an OB Toppin Knicks rebuild. So you guys know I am a Knicks fan and the my reaction to the Obi Toppin pick is up on the channel if you want to see what I said. I did prefer Tyrese Halpern at the pick, but Obi Toppin I kind of like more than Devin Vassell, which I really thought the Knicks were going to do. Also, I don't know when you guys are seeing this. You're either seeing this on Thursday or Friday. If you didn't see this on Thursday, it's because 2K is completely messed up. I'm really hoping my game doesn't crash here. I just started a new thing with the updated rosters as we have Emmanuel quickly. And we have Obi Toppin on here as the rookies are finally in 2K. But I recorded a version of this right after the draft and the game crashed on me in season number two. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen today. So the 2K is kind of incompetent. We have to start from the season. So we have Julius, or excuse me, Bobby Portis, Alfred Payton, and Taj Gibson, and Damian Dotson under contract, which I believe in real life, they just didn't pick up the options on Gibson, Portis, and Payton, and they're not extending a qualifying offer to Damian Dotson. So after year one, they won't be playing for us. Don't worry. And I'm going to try to get this out before free agency. So then if like the Knicks side Fred Van Vliet, this, what, like, this isn't going to be a pointless video. They also, I believe, waived Kenny Wooden as well. So I'm not going to play any of the players I know that are currently waived as the time I'm recording this on November 19th, 2020 at 2.27 p.m. to be exact. So I guess we're going to make Emmanuel quickly the sixth man. Or no, we're going to have to make it Obi Toppin because of Julius Randle. Oh, I hate that fit so much. I really hope the Knicks are able to move Julius Randle. So I'm just going to go 30 to those guys. 32 to Mitchell Robinson. Knox can get 30. We'll see how he does in 2K. 34 to Barrett. Oh, boy. I probably want Neil Aquina starting at point guard. All right, so yeah, this is going to be the rotation. Frank, RJ, Knox, Randall, Mitchell, Robinson with Obi Toppin, Emmanuel Quickly, who they took at pick 23. If you watched the draft, I really wanted Tyrell Terry, but Emmanuel Quickly was the player the Knicks went with. I'm not too upset with it. I just thought he would have been there at 33. And don't get me started on what they did with pick 33. They draft Daniel Oturu. Perfect. A good young backup center that could back up Mitchell Robinson. But they're like, no, we're going to trade him to the Clippers for a 2023 Detroit second round pick. Which, yeah, Detroit might be bad in 2023, and it could be a top second round pick, but this was the third pick in the second round they had. It makes no sense that they made that trade. And, okay, maybe if they were, like, I don't know, the Rockets and they're pressed for money and they wanted to sell the pick or just get off his million-dollar-a-year contract, but the Knicks have $40 million in cap space and free agency with no backup center at the moment. Why not get somebody that is on a cheap two-year deal for a second round pick? Stupid. Flat-out stupid. It made no sense whatsoever, but let's get beside that. So, yeah, that is going to be the team with Tom Thibodeau in year one. Our system proficiency is going to be two and F star defense. All right. I don't know if defense is going to be the way to go throughout this. Just, I don't know. Because even Obi Toppin will be a great fit for defense as well. But I expect to be bad this year. And I'll see you guys at the end of this year's season. And we got the 2021 class in. So, I wouldn't mind Cade Cunningham or Jalen Green on the squad. All right. So, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, I have injuries on. Yeah, we're going to roll with injuries. So, uh, RJ Barrett got hurt for a little bit throughout the year, and so did Emmanuel quickly. But Julius Randle is out six to eight weeks now with left knee tendonitis. So, that is going to slide Obi Toppin right into the starting lineup. Yeah, we're going to give him 33 minutes a night. Quickly will be the sixth man getting like 28. We can give DSJ like 21. Bruce Dacus can get like 21. And then we'll give 17 to Bullock. We have literally no backup bigs. But hey, we're 12 and 47. So it really doesn't matter anyway. And he's finally healthy. Literally, the season's almost over. So I'm not even going to play him because I'm not bringing him back anyway. Uh, so yeah, we ended the season, I think, with a 14-66 and 66 record, 30th in the NBA. So we'll probably have the number one odds at the number one pick. As LaMelo Ball of the Hornets is your rookie of the year. I'm thinking that will be my next rebuild as well. Ricky Rubio is your sixth man of the year. So he got traded to Atlanta from Minnesota. Kawhi is your defensive player of the year. Chris Boucher most improved. And then Brad Stevens is your coach of the year. So Trey Young has a torn MCL. He's out for the season. The NM beats out two to four weeks. Damn. Uh, Steph Curry makes me think of Clay. And Clay is out this whole year as well in real life. Man, it is so sad. Everybody with the first name in their uh, first letter, their first name with K here, gets on all NBA 13 besides Russ. Uh, did we get maybe Obi Toppin? There's Mitchell Robinson making all defensive second team. You like to see that? Okay. And then Obi Toppin on all rookie first team. Hell yeah. He actually might have averaged the second most points for a rookie. Let me actually check this out. Yeah. 15.4. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Here are the top scoring rookies. There's Pukuzewski. James Wiseman averaged about 10 and 8. 
Uh, there's Jada McDaniels, Akoro, Sadiq Bey, Patty Will, uh, Maladon, Maxi. Hey, quickly, okay, eight points, 38 from three. So yeah, we are not in the playoffs with a 14 and 68 record. We could check out what RJ did. That's pretty much him, Mitch, and uh, uh, him, Mitch, and Obi is who I care about. So RJ averaged 19 points, five rebounds, 32 from three. I'm gonna probably set him to perimeter shooting. There's Julius Randle, 18 points and eight rebounds. He wasn't bad, but we're gonna give Obi Toppin the starting power forward minutes next year. So I'm gonna probably pick up the team option on Randle. Let me actually see this for a second. Uh, so yeah, he's under contract for next year, so it's already picked up. Um, but I'm gonna trade him in the offseason. There's Obi Toppin, Mitchell Robinson, 11 and 10 and a half. He was great. Knox, uh, wasn't that good. <laughs> yep, he probably won't be coming back. Iggy, shot well from three at least. We already went over quickly. There's Frank, actually wasn't too bad. If he doesn't want a lot, I'd bring him back as a backup point guard. There's TSJ and Reggie Bullock. So the Clippers win the 2021 NBA <laughs> championship, and Kawhi Leonard <laughs> is your finals MVP. So. We had nobody retiring on our team. League meetings, I'm going to reject all of those. Here we go, draft lottery time. Let's hope that we are lucky. We have the number one odds, Mark Tatum. Oh, boy. Please give me some luck here. I'm going to close my eyes, guys. Please tell me we got one. I would love Kate Cunningham in New York. And we fall to three. Mmm, that hurts. We also have the 25th pick via Dallas as well. So we have two first-round picks. I could probably offer a deal to Detroit. I'm going to attempt it. Um, we are definitely going to fire Devin Thomas. We're going to pick up Randy Martin. I'm going to fire Mike Woodson just because his... Uh, no, we'll give him one more year. But we're definitely firing Caleb Brand. He's got really bad ratings. And I'm going to hire Abraham Navarro, who's got good uh, badges as well. So we get both those guys sweet. Let's go to the draft. Now, mock drafts. Is Cade going number one? They have G... Oh, they have Cade going three to us. Oh, I don't know if I want to take that risk. Detroit, though? I mean, they do have Killian Hayes, but he's under... As a point guard... So they would probably be down to trade. Let me let me see if I can offer 3, 25, 33, and 35. Four picks for the price of one to move up two spots. I don't care though. I want Cade Cunningham. They don't agree to that. I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm throwing in the 2023 Dallas pick. Yeah, we're gonna do that. And we land the number one pick. Welcome to the team, Cade Cunningham. And there is our new franchise point guard, Cade Cunningham. Oh, I love to see him in a Knicks jersey. We're picking up the options on Mitchell Robinson, RJ Barrett, and Iggy Brzezakis. We will do the same for Kevin Knox as well, as it will be a nice free agency, as it will be the 2020 and 2021 guys mixed in. But it looks like the Knicks aren't bringing back Damian Dotson, so we're not going to extend the qualifying offer to him. But we will to, not to DSJ, we will extend it to Frank Nielakina though. All right, so going into free agency, we have our point guard. I would like a backup, so maybe that's going to be Neil Aquino. We have two shooting guards in Barrett and quickly. We have, I mean, I would like an answer at small forward. Oh, I want to trade Julius Randle. I should have traded him on draft night, but let me actually do that now. It might be hard to get a player for player trade, like him for a small forward or for a backup point guard, but I'll see what he's going for. All right, so I think I'm going to make a rare interdivision trade. We get Thad Young, a nice vet that can mentor Obi Toppin to come off the bench. And instead of Karooks, would you give me your lottery protected first next year? Or they need a, they need another player to make the money work here. Uh, they just took Chris Smith out of UCLA. Okay. Um, uh, I guess they would prefer to give me hmm, Reggie Perry. Could that get it done? Would this work? Uh, I would have to throw in a 2025 first. Like if I had Reggie Bullock, I would throw him in. I mean, can I throw in Brzezakis? And it wouldn't work. Okay. Uh, so let's do, we won't get the first round pick out of it unless they'll just give it to me. Like if we did this and then a lottery protected first next year, uh, I would throw in two seconds, but I don't even think they'll accept that. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. We're just going to do uh, the Karooks for and Joy, uh, Thad Young for Julius Randle, just so we don't really have to start Julius Randle anymore. And the Nets with Katie and Kyrie, they could use a power forward. All right. So moratorium, like I said, I'm looking for a backup point guard and a backup center. Yeah. I think that's the two things we need here. And maybe a starting uh, small forward, but I don't know if we'll find that. So Dennis Schroeder or Derek Rose, I think we are going to switch our system. I mean, Dinwiddie would be funny. Do we go after Fred Van Vliet to be a backup? I mean, he'd be a pretty good sixth man, but do we pay a sixth man 21 mil a year? <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a smart idea, but mm, no, he would have to start. I mean, we could move him to the shooting guard position and then move RJ to the three because the Knicks might sign him in real life, but I don't know. I think we might just go after like Dennis Schroeder or Derek Rose, but he's 32. Monzo, hey, he might get traded soon. I'm going to go after Dennis Schroeder on a three-year deal worth about 15 mil a year. He'll be a nice uh, scoring output off the bench. So we're going to renounce the rights on everybody, even Frank Neal Aquino. This signing means I'm probably not going to bring back Frank. It's upsetting, I know. 
but we're not going to bring back Frank. And then for a backup center, let's see if DeMarcus Cousins would come to the Knicks on a two, uh, one-year deal worth about $9 mil a year. So that's a lot for him, but we have money to spend. So we're going to win Dennis Shooter and DeMarcus Cousins. So looking at player progression, Mitchell Robinson is our highest rated player, and then RJ Barrett, and then Obi Toppin. That is the big three at the moment, or big four, I guess, with Kate Cunningham. DeMarcus Cousins regressed. That's why I only gave him a one-year deal. Knox and Brzezakis will get the small forward minutes this year. All right, so we do have three training camps. I'm going to send, yeah, RJ Barrett to perimeter shooting. Up to an A+. Plus. Let's do the same with Obi Toppin as well. 93.84 mid-range. And then I'm going to send, I think, Mitchell Robinson just to rebounding. I continue want to uh, keep progressing him. He's got a 95 offensive rebound and a 79 defensive now. All right, so I'm going to have Mitchell Robinson get mentored by, uh, what's his name? DeMarcus Cousins. Does he have any gold badges? Yeah, he's got fadies. I don't really need his shooting. So we'll do brick wall. We'll do box. And then we'll do, um, I don't, uh... Back down Punisher. So we'll send um, Mitchell Robinson to be mentored by DeMarcus Cousins. And then we're also going to do Obi Toppin getting mentored by Thad Young. Um, and then I think finally we'll do... Okay, so we'll just do his like silver ones. Damn, he doesn't have that many badges. And then finally we're going to do Cade Cunningham getting mentored by Dennis Schroeder just because of the pitches don't fit. I mean, I guess... No, I'm actually going to do Emmanuel quickly getting mentored by Dennis Schroeder because Cade will be fine anyway. So Dennis Schroeder, does he have any gold? He has a uh, relay passer. We'll do bullet passer. And then we'll do uh, Ankle Breaker as well. So here's the rotation. It's Cade, Barrett, Knox, Top, and Mitchell Robinson. A very young starting five. With a bench of Dennis Shooter, Manuel Quickly, DeMarcus Cousins, and Thad Young. Uh, Manuel Quickly, our first round pick in 2020. Two veteran front court members and then a veteran backup point guard. Taking a look at system proficiency under defense is probably going to be pretty low at two and a half stars. Nothing is three and a half or... Th uh, yeah, nothing's three and a half. So we'll stick with defense for now. And then our preseason power ranking, according to NBA.com, will be at 21. 2K Sports has us at, ooh, oh, did I just see this? Okay, 18. That's not too bad. And then Eric has us at 22. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And hopefully we just maybe win 25, 30 games. I would take that. Ugh, Obi Toppin was having such a good year, man. Such a good year, too, as you can see. But he is now out four to six weeks with a severe left ankle sprain. So that's going to slide in Thad Young into the starting lineup. Last time I checked, we were 16 and 16. I'm not too sure where we're at now. Thad Young is going to go like 25. We'll go 28 to Knox. And then I'm going to do about 16 to Karooks. And then we'll give uh, two minutes to Cousins and one to Quickly. So we're actually 47 and 33. We're killing it this year. Uh, does that mean he's going to be... Oh, that means three games left. So he's going to miss the whole playoffs probably. Oh, that's a shame. Damn, we're, we're going to end up going... 47 and 35. Trey Young is your MVP. Cade Cunningham's your rookie of the year. That's what I'm talking about, man. 20 and a half points, five rebounds, eight assists. Dude was a stud as a rookie. Uh, and we get six men of the year as well with Dennis Schroeder. Jonathan Isaac's defensive player of the year. Most improved goes to Aiden and Lloyd Pierce is your coach of the year. Mitchell Robinson on all defensive second team at, again. He's going to get a new contract extension from us. And then Cade on all rookie first team. So we ended up making it as the 4C, but it really sucks. We're going to have no Obi Toppin for the playoffs, taking on the Raptors. How's Malachi Flynn doing? Not too bad in his sophomore year. Didn't do much in his rookie year. There's Terrence Davis. Oh. They have LeBron James. Okay. Pascal Siakam, Chris Boucher, OG and Obi. Interesting. But yeah, did not expect to see LeBron in Toronto. Uh, RJ Barrett, 21 and a half points, 50, 40, 66 splits. I will take that. The highest true shooting of his career. Over 60%, which is amazing. Yeah, six rebounds, four assists over a steal a night. He was great. Kate, great. Obi Toppin was very good. It sucks he's not going to be able to play in the playoffs for the first time here. Shooter, 16 and a half points on good efficiency. I like to see that. There's DeMarcus Cousins. Okay. I might give him a contract extension, but we'll see, though, because he might regress. Mitchell Robinson, second team all defense. Uh, Kevin Knox probably will not be getting a qualifying offer from me. Emmanuel quickly kind of regressed this year. That is a shame. And Thad Young wasn't too bad. I, I wouldn't mind bringing him back as, like, a vet for us. But, yeah, round one here against the Raptors. We actually pick up a game one victory by 25 points. RJ goes off. Same with Schroeder and DeMarcus Cousins. And LeBron at 21-13-7. He is 37 years old. Can we win game two? No, we cannot. As we end up losing by 17. Malachi Flinch up 26. Game 3 is an L as well. We lost by 2 in overtime. Damn. Game 4. Oh, okay. We're going to win the first game and then lose 4 unanswered, aren't we? And yep. We ended up winning game 1. Gave me hope just to lose 4 in a row. As the Memphis Grizzlies win it all. And John Morant is your finals MVP. They swept the Celtics. 
So we had no player retirements. We have no staff retirements. But Tom Thibodeau did a good job as uh, Dwight Howard heads to the Hall of Fame and he gets his jersey retired by the Magic. But yeah, Thibodeau brought us to the playoffs. 47 wins, the most that Knicks have gotten since like 2012 slash 2013. So I will definitely take it. Wow, the Grizzlies won it all. I don't know the protection on that Utah pick. That's obviously from the Mike Conley trade. Are they actually going to end up? No, okay, it goes to the Jazz. Thank God for their sake. But our pick is going to be at 22. The pick we traded to Detroit, which is the Mavericks pick. Oh, just kidding. That'll be next year. The Mavericks are at 24. Okay, so yeah, an interesting top three. Jazz, Pacers, and Bucks. All three of them were playoff teams in 2020. Uh, we do need to hire a new head scout. We'll go Eldon Stewart. He's got really good ratings. And then for a CFO, we'll get Jordan Malone. We're going to keep the coaching staff for now. We will. Um, we'll see if we regress next year or we keep improving as a team. We will have a little bit of money to go after maybe like a max free agent at the small forward position because that's what we need. So we have the 22nd pick in the draft. I'll see you guys with who I take. All right, so with the 22nd pick, I took Musa Diabete out of Michigan, who can replace DeMarcus Cousins as our backup center if we didn't want to pay DeMarcus Cousins in free agency, if we want to allocate that money somewhere else, like a star small forward. And we got Jeffrey Holmes in the second round. I'm not sure if this is a real player or not out of Memphis. Let me see. Yeah, it's not looking like that is a real player. So uh, Musa will at least play for us. We're picking up the option on RJ. Why would I decline that? And quickly as well, 2K, don't be done with me. There are good small forward free agents out here. Okay. All right. Qualifying offers. Knox will not be getting it, but Brzezakis will because uh, I'd rather roll with Brzezakis as a backup than Knox. It'll be a cheaper option. So looking into free agency, we're a team on the rise. There is a plethora of small forwards or shooting guards we can go after and then move RJ to a small forward if we were to do that. All right. <laughs> Let's see who we're going to offer. So we do have a thing here because Mitchell Robinson, I believe. Yeah. I don't think we have bird rights on him. I want to go to player finder. Come on. So Mitch, let me see. Uh, okay, we give him a five-year deal worth 27 mil. All right, that will leave us with 37 mil left. Okay, so we would probably have to say goodbye to Thad Young, Karuks, probably everybody here if we want to get somebody else. I'm not going to offer him a deal yet until we uh, until he's got competition. So yeah, I'm going to give KD a deal to come to the Knicks. Maybe he will come here. Wow, that's a lot of money. I'm going to actually not offer him that much. Uh, we can offer him 40 mil for three years uh, as he is 33 and I'll give a, him a no trade clause. We will offer LeBron because I mean, yeah, I'll offer LeBron a, a one year deal with 40, almost 40 mil. And then I'm going to offer Harden a deal. Yeah. I actually would love to sign Harden here. Player option, no trade clause, two plus one. All right. Do we get at least one of them? Okay. We got all three. Oh man. Okay. Who do I take? Like, the year is 20... What year are we in right now? The year is 2022. LeBron is 37 going on 38. Katie's 33. Harden's 33. We take Harden. We're moving RJ to the small forward spot. We take LeBron. He's a small forward. We take KD. He's a small forward. I think I, I want KD. I want KD. Ah, uh, yeah. I haven't signed KD yet. I think in 2K21 next gen. So we're going to read out the rights on everybody here but Mitch and Iggy. And welcome to the team, Kevin Durant. Almost, well, I don't think he ever almost signed with them in 2020. But you know what I mean. We end up getting him in 2022. So Mitch still hasn't gotten a contract yet. Just kidding. Um, okay, so I'm just going to give him that. Uh, we will not be signing him to that yet. And that is perfect. So now I'm going to lock up Mitchell Robinson to 30 or 20 and a half mil a year. And okay, I thought he accepted another offer. There we go. We get our all defensive center back. And I'm going to sign Iggy to a two-year deal as well. To be our backup small forward eight. No, we'll give him a three-year deal worth about five mil a year. And I'm guessing he'll sign that. And he does. All right. So this team is in championship contention next year. 100%. We got KD, Mitchell Robinson, Kate Cunningham, RJ Barrett, Obi Toppin, Shooter Quickly, Brzezakis, and Musa Diabetti. Hopefully, knock on wood, no crazy injuries happen. Because I don't really have that much depth on this team. So I want to send RJ Barrett to perimeter shooting once again. There we go. I want to send Obi Toppin to perimeter shooting as well. He's got a 95 three-point. You love to see that. And then we're going to send Mitchell Robinson to low post defense. I want to see all defensive first team from him this year. All right, so I don't want to overplay anybody. So we're going to play the one through four, 33 minutes a night. We're going to play Mitchell Robinson 32 minutes a night. And then the four-man bench of Schroeder, Quickly, Iggy, and Diabetes will go as follows. So... I might change the system proficiency here of uh, Tom Thibodeau. It's a three-star defense, uh, but we are going to change it. Anything for now. We'll go to balanced. I think that will work better. Yeah, so we're going to change preferred to balanced. Hopefully that gets up to 
four stars by the end of the year. And our preseason power ranking is going to come in at number seven to NBA.com. 2K Sports has us at 10, and then Eric has us at seven as well. So it's pretty much championship or bust this year. Let's hope that we can maybe bring a championship back to the Mecca. And this is why I hate having injuries on. Mitchell Robinson dislocated left patella. He's out for the season. We are 40 games over 500, and we lose our center, who is just amazing. I almost averaging 13, uh, 12 rebounds and three blocks a night is gone. Oh boy. All right, Musa. Time to step in as the starting center. He doesn't look too bad, so we will be playing him like 28 minutes a night. But who's the backup center? Oh my god, I, it's going to be Kenrich Williams at the backup big. Oh boy, this is not going to be well. This is not going to go well. I mean, is there a good one in free agency we could potentially sign? Um, Cody Zeller, can we afford him? He wants so much money. I saw Bull Bull as well. I can only give him a 4.76. He doesn't want that. So we could sign like Harry Giles. You know what? We're going to sign Harry Giles. Yeah, he's going to be the backup center. I'm not going to play Kenrich Williams. So yeah, Harry Giles is going to get about 15 minutes a night. Welcome to the Knicks. Harry, so yeah, the season is almost over. We're 40 games over 500. That just sucks, man. So we ended the season with an incredible record. I'm expecting to see Thibodeau as coach of the year. So Luke is your MVP. Kenny Chandler, rookie of the year, and he balled out for Indiana. Sheesh. Tyrese Halbert and sixth man of the year in Sacramento. Jonathan Isaac, defensive player of the year. Wiseman, most improved. And Tibbs gets coach of the year, and we get executive of the year as well. Tibbs has 30 years of experience. Really? I'm looking at his Wikipedia page. I feel like that... Okay, I mean, he has been coaching, like, college basketball since 81. And he's been coaching the Timberwolves since 89 as an assistant. Okay. Oh, I was wrong. Shout out to Tim's. We did get Kevin Durant on All-NBA 13. You see Vomelo there as well. Any other rookies making it? Uh, no, not yet. All-Defensive first team. Mitchell Robinson. He did what I asked, man. Oh, that just sucks that he got hurt. We are the one seed in the East taking on the Pistons in round one. Killian Hayes, Jalen Johnson. They have Jordan Clarkson. Killian Hayes had a very good year for Detroit. Jalen Johnson was amazing as well for them. So they have a nice young duo there. Eric Pascal, Steven Adams. Do they have Seku? Still they do. He actually wasn't too bad this year. Isaiah Stewart, not the starting center. And then where is, uh, they have Kai Jones. Did they trade Sadiq Bay? No, he's just not even playing. Or no, he is playing for them. Okay. But I mean, we should beat them, right? We have the best player in the series. Um, and Kevin Durant, him and Cade both dropped 21 a night. KD did it on 51, 43, 93 splits. Cade on 51, 39, 89 splits. He was almost 50, 40, 90 as well. Obi Toppin, 17 and a half points, 7.7 .7 rebounds, 44 from three, 82 from the line. Stud there. Uh, probably still not great on the defensive end. I mean, if we look at his grades, his uh, perimeter defense is a D and his post defense is a B. Okay. Uh, RJ Barrett though, only 16 points, five and a half rebounds, three and a half assists. All right, now I guess Kevin Durant doesn't help him there. Dennis Schroeder had 15.7 points. That leaves us with five guys above 15 points. We had six in double figures, but Mitch is out. There's Emmanuel Quickly who shot 42 from downtown. I'll definitely take that. Brzezakis, eight points, 42 from three. Yeah, I'm with that. Musa, seven uh, points, five and a half rebounds, almost 48 from the field. He's the starting center. Better step up. So for the playoffs, I am going to edit the rotation just a tad. We're going to give Harry Giles like 14. Um... Brzezakis like 13. I'm going to keep, I'm going to go 27 to Musa. And then we're going to go 35 to KD, Barrett, and Cade. Yeah, we're going to do that. All right, game one against Detroit. This would be funny if we lost, but we ended up winning by one point on a fourth quarter comeback. Don't scare me these playoffs, please. All right, we're up 2-0. 2-0. Let's go. We end up beating them by 49. Holy crap in this game. K drops 36 and 11. Obi had 38 and 5. KD and Barrett played well also. We have a chance to go up three games to zero, and we do just that. We end up winning by 17 points. Obi Toppin, 26 and 14. He's been killing it. RJ with 17 rebounds. All right. And we can't sweep them, but can we win in five? We beat the Pistons in five. We end up beating them by 23 points in game five. Kate at 34. KD, 28. So we're taking on the Boston Celtics here in round two. Kemba, Jalen, Yuri Pushna. Okay. Tatum, Robert Williams. How is their rookies doing? Aaron Neesmith. Hasn't been anything crazy yet for them. And then Yam Mater, Mater, and then they have uh, Peyton Pritchard there as well, who didn't play this year, but he was pretty good last year for them. Okay. Didn't they get Yam Mater? No, I guess not. Or maybe they did and they traded him or something. I don't know. Game one, we lost in overtime. Wow, what a horrible overtime performance. Tam. They also have JRE in uh, Boston as well. Game two, we can't lose this. Oh, huge win. Let's go. We ended up beating them by 53 points. <gasps> 
Sheesh, that's a lot. Yep, that is a lot. Game three, we end up losing by eight, though. Oh, come on. Do not go down three games to one. I hate playing the Celtics in 2K. Tatum is so good. He's so freaking good. And Shooter was our winning score. Huge game five here. It's going to be at a garden, but it's the Madison Square Garden. Don't lose this. Oh, my God. Terrible first quarter. Good second quarter. Damn. We're down three games to two. Jalen Brown drops 35, Aaron Neesmith with 24. All right, can we force a game seven or is that not going to be the case? Uh, all right, start. Good first half. We, okay, we have a uh, nine-point lead here with 11 minutes left in the fourth. And we don't blow it. We're going to a game seven, but it's been back and forth. Win, 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 win for each team. So if the trend continues, the Celtics are going to win here. So yeah, every road team, or no, no, we've won, a, we've won a road game. But yeah, let's see what happens here at home. Come on, can we really not play at home? Are we that bad at home? Down by five, two and a half minutes. I'm winning this game. All right, so we got KD in. I'll make sure the starters are in. What is this percentage thing? Oh, energy. Oh, that's cool. That it gives you an energy percentage. I like that. Who's this on the screen? Emmanuel, quickly. Um, I really should have just shot that with KD. But KD cutting in with the three ball. Bang! Huge three there by KD. That's what I'm talking about. He's got 16. They need a timeout. Let's go. Huge shot there by KD. I wanted to get Emmanuel quickly in, but the game was weird. And I was going to take out Musa Diabetti, move Obi Toppin to the 5, KD to the 4, but it just wasn't working. But yeah, Obi's got a double-double in this game. Keats flirted with the triple-double. I thought I had a steal. RJ, help me out. RJ Barrett is now guarding Robert Williams. How did this happen? Obi with the steal! Let's go up to KD. All right, we have a chance to tie it here. We're going right at the rim, KD, with the spin move inside. Go up, KD. What was that? What was that? We're going to pick and roll, KD, and Obi Toppin, KD right to the rim. That's what I'm talking about. Easy bucket. Why is Musa guarding Tatum? He got a hand in his face. He missed it, but we can't get the rebound. Are you kidding me? Come on. That was a huge chance for us. Oh, that sucks. All right. Is K just like that much quicker than Kemba Walker? Yeah, he's so much faster. I really don't. Oh my God. That's going to go in, isn't it? I was going to play under the screen. I don't know why I would do that. Oh, that hurts so much. KD coming off the screen here. Can he knock down this three? Catch a shoot, bang! Huge three there by KD as an answer to Tatum's three. Back down by two. No way Tatum hits that. Let's go. Bad shot there by Tatum. We kind of baited him into taking that. Obi Toppin, I see you. Hit this three. Obi, come on, please. No, I would have. Oh, Musa! Pass that, pass that. Huge rebound there by Musa. Let's go. 10 on the shot clock. Roll Musa. RJ to the rim. Easy money. Let's go. Tie game. I still don't know why Musa is guarding Tatum. I'm going to need help from Obi Toppin or something as he gets right by. Come on. What is that matchup, man? That is so stupid. All right, I'm eyeing the KD3 again. I am eyeing this KD3. He gets another good look, KD. Come on. Game. No! No! That was such a good look, too, and it goes in and out. No, you're kidding me. Oh, that is such a shame. So we need either a steal or a missed free throw. RJ, get on Jalen Brown here. Um, can I bait him to maybe throwing this ball? No, they're going to throw him in the court. Actually, foul this guy. I don't know if he'll hit a free throw, but that's who I want going to the line. Yuri Postnov, please miss one free throw. Please miss one. Yes, we're in it. We're in it. We're going to go to the KD3 again. That's who I trust the most. Maybe K, but if he misses two, I would just, oh my God, be so happy. All right. All right, we're still in this, boys. I don't know who I want to go to here. KD, I've been taking a lot of threes with him. Do I go with KD or do I go with Cade? Oh, the three-point lineup has actually Schroeder out there. It doesn't even have KD. Yeah, I don't agree with that. All right. Oh, do I have another timeout to work with in case I don't like what I'm seeing? I do. All right. I have two timeouts. Kate's got an A plus three, honestly. Um, all right. Let's actually just... Oh, my God. I'm not going to have enough time to run the floppy set. Oh, my God. I'm not going to have enough time. Katie, I need you to run this quickly, Katie. Katie, we got seven seconds. Katie, run! 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 Oh, my God. It's going to be a bad luck, but we're going to take it anyway. Perfect for waste! Let's go! We're going to overtime, baby! What a shot! Perfect for waste! Oh, let's go. Oh, baby, we're still alive. What a shot by KD. That's why you signed that man right there. That's the reason why. My heart is racing. All right, Simcast in overtime. Treat me well. Treat me well, please. Good start. We hit a three. We're up by three. Come on. We're up by three. It's tied. Okay, don't fall behind. Don't fall behind. We're doing well. We're doing well. Come on, dagger, right there. We're up by six with four. We're winning. We're going to the conference finals. Let's go. We them 21 to nine in overtime. What a win. What a freaking win. And now we're taking on the two-seeded Hawks who have Trey, who is just, look at these playoff numbers. Amazing. Kevin Herter, DeAndre Hunter, Collins, Clint Capella. So a Kung Wu is coming off the bench. 
Um, he hasn't been that good in his career so far. They still have Cam Reddish, they have Anton Watson, Aminu Muhammad, Pat Bev, and a Winnick. All right, let's get into this. Game one, we end up winning by four points. Can we get him like a relaxing, non-stressful series? That would be great. As we're up 2-0. I like the way this series is headed. Come on, win game three. Oh, damn. I have a feeling they're going to tie it up, aren't they? They're going to tie it up. No, yes, reverse psychology for the win. We scored 40 points in three different quarters there in game four. And we are one game away from going to the finals and we win it. What a game seven against Boston, man. Because now we're in the finals taking on the San Antonio Spurs. We're going to get up against DeJounte Murray, Wani Walker, Devin Vassell, who the Knicks almost draft, I would say. Oh, and Giannis. And Evan Mobley. <laughs> uh, they also have Thomas Bryant, Derek White, Keldon Johnson, and Lucas Shawmanich. I don't feel too good at going up against Giannis, but we win game one by 28 points. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, game two. Okay. We win by 12. Kate is going off. Who's going to get finals MVP? If we win, knock on wood. Kate or KD? Come on, game three. Feels good, boys. See, that could have been the video right there. That loss against the Celtics. I was probably just going to rage and end the video. But we are going to win the finals. Yeah, we end up winning the finals. Kate Cunningham is your finals MVP. What a game seven against Boston, man. That was so much fun. I'm so glad we signed KD to hit that shot right there. So yeah, that is going to be for me. That is going to be my first um, post-draft rebuild. Let me know which one you want to see next in the comments below. Do you want to see a Lamelo Charlotte Hornets? Do you want to see like maybe a new look Sixers rebuild? New look Mavericks? But free agency is about to happen. So I don't know if I'm going to really drop another one of these maybe till after that ends. I'm not sure though. But let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you are new. We have so much NBA content on the channel. And I'm excited because uh, once free agency is over... Making my 2021 mock jack. Yeah, we're getting right into that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.